गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास टेन वेलकम ऑल टू इन दिस मैथमेटिक्स डे फ्रॉम टुडे ऑनवर्ड्स आई एम गोइंग टू रिवाइज चैप्टर वाइज आई विल एक्सप्लेन द इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स फॉर्मूला डेरिवेशन एंड टिपिकल क्वेश्चन of every chapter today we are going to see real numbers you know very well many type of numbers we use in mathematics natural number whole number integers rational numbers irrational number composite प्राइम नंबर को प्राइम सो वॉट एवर द नंबर वी यू अप टू क्लास टेन स्टैंडर्ड बियॉन्ड क्लास टेन स्टैंडर्ड मेनी मोर नंबर यू विल लर्न इन हाई क्लास क्लास इलेवन एंड ट्वेल्व कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर इमेजनरी नंबर सो you concentrate only the only on real numbers whatever the numbers we use in mathematics they can be divided into two parts rational and irrational rational numbers you know must have studied in class 9 the numbers which can be expressed in form of p upon q p and q are not important here numerator and denominator only meaning you can see a by b no problem so if you express or any number can be expressed if can be expressed in form of p upon q and if p and q are integers and second condition q should not be equal to 0 here you may question sir why q should not be equal to 0 <coughs> because in a mathematics in a fraction which has denominator 0 still it is not defined 5 by 0 3 by 0 1 by 0 they are not defined till now and if you reverse 0 by 1 0 by 3 0 by 2 that is equal to 0 so that is the that is why this is the condition p and q should be integers And q should not be equal to zero because uh, the fractions having zero as a denominator till today it is not defined. No one has found the value of any fraction having zero in the denominator. So these two conditions for rational number. So now you have to see. i would like to remind in this chapter hca finding hca by euclid division lemma has been deleted for this session so you have to concentrate on fundamental theorem of arithmetic that will be used to find the hca and lcm but you should know what is fundamental theorem of arithmetic before this you should try to understand composite and prime numbers suppose the number is 16 you can write it 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 so any number suppose 10 you can write 5 into 2 so the numbers which can be expressed as a product of prime numbers prime numbers you know which have which are not divisible by any other number 
All numbers are divisible by one and by itself. <coughs> but if the numbers are only divisible by themselves and only divisible by one and not divisible by any other number, so they are known as prime numbers. Prime numbers, but here I would like to make it clear, one is neither prime number nor composite. That is a simple natural number. The lowest prime number is 2. 2, 3, 5, 7, like that. So you can understand. Or you can understand it. Those numbers which have only two factors. What is the factor? Factor is the number which can divide a given number. So that number is factor of the number. Suppose 2 is a factor of 6. Yes, 6 is divisible by 2. Is 3 factor of 20? No, because 20 is not divisible by 3. So you can understand what are the factors and what are prime factor. Factor and prime factor. Prime factor means that the factor could be prime number. Factors means they may be composite and they may be prime. Composite number, so every composite number can be expressed in the product of prime. So those numbers are called composite numbers. If you try to understand in simple language, those numbers which are divisible by one, which are divisible by number itself, and also divisible by at least one other number. So they are known as composite number. Or in other way you can understand those numbers which can be expressed as a product of prime numbers. Now you see what is the meaning of HCF and LCF. HCF full form highest common factor. LCM, lowest common factor. But it is not enough to understand. HCF means the what is the largest number, the greatest number, the biggest number which can divide the given number. Suppose 10. If I ask you what is the biggest number, largest which can divide 10, so your answer will be 5. So this 5. Suppose 10 and 15, two numbers. If I ask you what is the largest number which can divide both 10 and 15, so your answer will be 5. Means 5 is the largest which can divide the given number. That is the meaning of HCF. And many methods to find the CF of given numbers. So one method is fundamental theorem of mathematics. Means prime factorization. Prime factorization. And LCM, what is the lowest number which can be divisible by the given number? If I ask you 12, 16. What is the LCM of 12 and 16? Means we have to find out what is the list number which is divisible by the given number. So your answer will be 48. And if I ask you what is the largest number which can divide 12 and 16? So your answer will be 4. So I suppose you understand what is the difference between HCF and LCM? So 12 and 16, two numbers. If I ask you what is the largest number which can divide these two numbers, 4 will be the result and this 4 is HCF. Now for the same numbers, if I ask you what is the smallest number which is divisible by given 12 and 16, 
the answer will be 48. This 48 is known as LCM. So now you can understand what is the meaning of LCM and LCM. And uh, as I have told you, a complete division lemma is also a method to find the SCM. But since it is, has been deleted for this session, so nothing doing that, with that method. So you have to concentrate on fundamental form of optimism. Now you see terminating and non-terminating this month. Any rational number, any rational number, it can be changed into decimal by dividing denominator by denominator. By dividing the denominator by denominator. On dividing, there may be two types of situation. One is in the division process the number will be the numerator will be completely divisible. So that is called terminating decimal. And if you divide numerator by denominator and if you find the situation you are not in a position to get the zero remainder. So the division process will not complete. So the result that is often that is called non-terminating repeating this. Okay, non-terminating, non-repeating the whole system. But whatever the rational numbers we have, they may be only two terms. Terminating or non terminating repeating. Suppose 3.2475 as a this is a non terminating, non repeating because we don't know what number will come next. So this is called non terminating, non repeating. But any we have no any rational number such that we can get this type of but you should also understand what is a non terminating non repeating this so 3 by 5 it will be worse so you will get 0. 0.6 so this is terminating this much suppose 3 by 7 if you divide if you change into decimal so you will not get remainder that will be non terminating repeating, repeat for the job. So, it's got a method time from the bathroom. If any rational number in form of P upon Q, if the prime factorization of Q is 2 power n or 5 power m, 5 power n, where n and n are non zero. Yes. So, if the denominator of a fraction, a rational number, is in this form, 2 power n or 5 power n, so that will be terminating this one. It is a method without dividing. You can find out whether the given rational number will be terminating or or non terminating repeating this. This go up simple language means some other thing. So it's quite very good to tell me. If the prime factors of Q or yes, if the denominator Kajo prime factorization is becoming also may be two or five is it four. Or is K alava could be other number in him? Kaka was a three, seven, nine to seven, nine to already three into three was there. So if three and seven are also in the dimension, so that will be non terminating, non, yeah, non terminating, repeating this. And if the dimension have only two or five or both, no other number. So 
that will be terminating this one. This is the rule to find out whether a number is terminating or non-terminating this one. Today I have given you and from today onwards, I will send you daily the practice question I have given, I have sent through WhatsApp. Few questions of real numbers. All of you have to solve. And if you find any problem, you will ask me, I will try to solve all the problems. So thank you for today. Have a nice day.